Microsoft being completely overhauled their app for iPhone and Android, and now it has AI built into it, the power of ChatGPT. So Bing has been around for many years, right? It's a search engine from Microsoft. Not many people use it though. So what Microsoft did is they bought a portion of OpenAI, the company that makes ChatGPT, and they bundled this new Bing with AI, and it has the latest ChatGPT basically in there. It's basically being powered by ChatGPT. Let me show you exactly how it works. I think you're gonna find it really, really useful. So search on your phone. This is in the App Store. You could get it on Android and you could get it on the Edge browser as well. But search for Bing is called Bing Your AI Copilot and download and open it. So here inside of Bing, you typically land on the homepage here and you have some little apps here that come by default and you have the search bar right on top. So here you could search for things, search the internet, type in a website URL. There's some new things here too. Like for example, you have a deals tab where you could shop using Bing right here. All your tabs show up over here once you browse the internet. And you also have these little apps that show up and you could pin them. So if you wanted to check the stock market, for example, they have these little apps for them to make it really easy. But right in the center, this is what I wanna show you. This is the new Bing right here. And it's basically your AI co-pilot. That's what they call it. It could help you browse the web. It could help you make content. It could actually plan things for you. It could summarize things for you. And what's really cool about this is it has a conversational style. So unlike the other platforms that do this kind of thing, you could actually choose how you want it to write for you. So you could choose more balanced, creative, or more precise. Then this is your chatbot. So this is where you could ask it anything and it will respond. It also has a microphone, so you could actually ask it anything using a microphone. Now, two big things I wanna point out before I show you how Bing works. So Bing, unlike ChatGPT, actually has web access. It's going to actually find stuff on the internet and it will give you resources where you got that information from so you could jump right in. So let me show you how that works. So right here, it's gonna give you some ideas too if you don't know what you want. But right now, I wanna help get a budget. Help me make a budget. So I'm gonna search for that. I'm gonna press send and it's going to ask it a question. Basically, it's gonna do a search here from the web but instead of giving me a bunch of web results like Google and Bing used to do, what it's gonna give me is a conversational answer. And basically what it did is gave me a nice summary that I could read in a conversational format. And it gave me where it got that information from. So if I wanted to go to any one of those websites, right in the same page, it's going to let me go to those websites where I could read a little bit more. Very useful, this is something ChatGPT, for example, doesn't do because it doesn't have web access. So you could see right here also, it says one out of 20. It's gonna remember the last 20 things that you're gonna ask it. So every time you're done with this conversation, you could clear it so you get a fresh set of 20 and it will refer back to the information it's been giving you to continue the conversation. So here, I'm gonna say, create me a budget with placeholders. And now if I search for that, basically it's gonna take what it just gave me and then it's gonna create a budget table for me that I could copy and paste and put in my own numbers. By the way, you see the stop responding. Anytime if it's going in the wrong direction, you could just stop it right, right there so you could do your next prompt. But just like that, he gave me this table basically that I could copy and paste right here, right on top. It has a copy option, it has a share option. I could give it a thumbs up if I want. Very useful and again, every time it's gonna give me a resource and what's really cool, it's gonna give me follow-up questions. So sometimes I'm not sure what to ask next about this topic. So based on the conversation you've had so far, again, two questions out of 20 in this thought, I could ask it another one. I said, how do I fill out the budget table? Because maybe I'm not sure what to put there. And then it's gonna go ahead and again, do a search, find the answer relevant to what it just gave me. And then I could continue the conversation from there. Anytime I want to refresh, again, I'm going to go ahead and clean this chat. It's going to give me a brand new chat box right here. So I could start again. I could change my conversational style. Anytime I could also go back to the regular Bing and do a search from the homepage. So if you do a search from here, it also lets you access the AI chatbot right from here, right? So if you were to click right over here to do a search, the chat box appears right over here, bringing you back with the same exact thing you just searched right on top. So it's gonna put it over here, respond exactly this way, and then you could continue your conversation this way, and basically jump back and forth between regular search here and the regular Bing app, 
and the one that is AI powered just like this one. That's your crash course into the Bing AI powered app. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you next time.